It's taking desire and feeling, understanding the field of feeling, and then focusing it through desire. And that's what silver mind control is about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sister. I have a question for mm -hmm. you. We were just talking about Akhenaten and mm -hmm. we were um, against his beliefs. Now, I just saw a ridiculous movie last mm -hmm. night called mm -hmm. The Money. <laughs> Demonizing him. Mm -hmm. That's a good point, sister. You know, he. He was ultimate scourge of the earth. Mm hmm. Come through him, Hotep. Which is, which is very, very interesting because essentially. Interesting to note that Imhotep was the father of medicine, he was the grand vizier. He was the creator and the designer of the so-called step pyramids, not only here, but over in the North American continent as well, the South American continent. He essentially was so bad that the Netaru came down, or the Netaru came down and took him as one of them because he was of a lineage. He was supposed to have been seated by one of the Anunnaki anyway. And his mother was the one who gave him the knowledge of all of the herbs and the, the science of, 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 of healing. And as a matter of fact, Imhotep did not become a man. Imhotep was essentially a title, just like Heru is a title. Heteru is a title. Isis is a title, is not a person. It is essentially what you ascend to based upon the quality that that particular deity represents. You wear the mantle of, of Ast, you wear the mantle of Heru, of Heteru, of Herukuti. All these are mantles, just like what the brother was wondering, why do you want to get rid of all the gods? These mantles were essentially what constituted the fixtures that made up the groundation or the foundation of reality. So to completely say that the Pantheon does not exist and all that exists is the one was to completely destroy the balance that was created by the expression of the one thing as the many. Okay? Now, the destruction of, of Himhotep is necessary because medicine wants that to happen. Um, <laughs> you know, for, for one of a better word, the, the, the medical church or the medical temples of, of the West um, cannot see the true father of medicine, who Imhotep was, um, who essentially was known as um, Asculapius in the Greek. And Asculapius was actually the son of Hermes Trismegistus, or the so-called god called Jehudi, Toth. And there is a good book that I think you should get called The Virgin of the World. Okay? By, by Maitland. In it, it has an incredible conversation between the father and his son. Asculapius is essentially Imhotep. Or oh, Hermes, Imhotep. Well, Imhotep. Yeah, the first. Actually, the first. You want to deal with the first. The son of Jehudi. Yeah, but it's they're not said to who he is. Jehudi. That's how it's pronounced. Yeah, Toth. And um, what you need to do also is to um, read another book, which is excellent, called the Poimanda. The Poimanda. This is another book by Hermes speaking to his son. Incredible books. And, and you have to understand what's being said. Again, having the prerequisite in metaphysics is, is excellent for when you're dealing with it. Um, the divine Poimanda uh, and the P... Well... It, the, the Greek is P-O-I-M-A-N-D-E-R, but it may be spelt as P-Y-M-A-N-D-E-R. And the other book is called The Virgin of the World. Excellent dialogue between uh, Asclepius and his son, and his father, I believe. 
And in, 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 the, in the Paimanda, it shows you the reason for homosexuality on another spiritual tip, on a psychological tip, where the specific, the specific soul does not create on the physical realm. And as a result, it does not know its task. So the masculine principle or the feminine principle that does not generate life cannot understand the, the principle that is evoked within it through its feelings as a mother or as a father. Therefore, if it takes on another life without having that experience, it comes not understanding what it is in the next life and therefore plays a dual role within the same body. So you have to deal with some of these things. It's deep. Of course, that particular action can be sidestepped by the beneficence that you give, the love you give to other children and all these things. But if you just coalesce by yourself and be by yourself and want to be by yourself and don't play upon that, which most women today are not doing, and most men, certain men are not doing as well, you don't understand what fatherhood is. Fatherhood is not just taking care of a child because you don't teach the child how to be a child. The child teaches you how to be a parent. So the child becomes the father to the man or becomes the mother to the woman. So that's the, that's the synergy. That is the flower of life. That's the continuum that goes on the fact that we are all here on this dynamic journey just enjoying one another. You die, go to war, you fight, you kill. You've done this before. Krishna told Arjuna as he was standing there ready to go into battle, scared to death. He says, why are you scared? You did this so many times before. You died and come back. This is your thing. Stop worrying about death. Leave that mentality of finality and the end of days and all that shit alone. You are a forever creature and you keep cranking this dynamic of infinity into this beautiful blossoming body you got. You flower each time you come through the womb. Every time you take on the flesh, you got a whole new chance to unburden yourself. And this is what you're here to do right now. We've just unburdened ourselves with the realization we've exchanged today. Know thyself and heal thyself. Love thyself.